Who goes to the national? Who's the national? Who's the national? Let me put that on his. So okay. Is it on? Um, oh, yeah, oh, it's not on yet. Jerry's still out. If you want to turn it on, Elder, just flip that down. How you doing, man? Why right, you got to separate from that enemy, man? Right. 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 And he had your forefathers in captivity yeah. for a long time, man. Right. And that's what I'm saying, though. See, our people don't even consider everything, man. Our people are okay with yeah. this going on, man, with this fight, man. When it's a silent light, that means you're not. And they said they're amazed at the stranger. Strangeness. Oh, this salvation. Everybody's salvation. Strangeness of his salvation. So far beyond all they look for. And they repeat it and burn it for Field. What people fit that curse? Right? The so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, right? Right here. Right? Because these are all one nation of people. Right? So watch this. This book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. Not physically destroyed, but till you don't know who you are. Why are you calling yourself African American, black colored? You're calling yourself uh, so Indian, which is a savage. 
Puerto Rican, which actually is up. a rich port. Really well, but you so. call yourself all these right. words that's not your God-given nationality. Okay. Because thou hearken is not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you don't listen to the Lord thy God, to do what? To keep his commandments and his statutes, which he commanded thee. And they shall be upon thee. So these curses are going to be upon Israelite, the God's chosen people to Israelites for what? For a sign. Which one of these buildings is the club T? Club T. T E E T S. If you look at all these buildings, how do you know that that building is Club Teats? It's there on the front. And what is that card that says that? A sign, right? Watch what it just said. And they shall be upon thee. These curses shall be upon God's chosen people, the Israelites, for what? For a sign. And for a wonder. And upon thy seed forever. So if you ever wonder who God's chosen people is, all you got to do is go to Deuteronomy 28, verse 15 down to 68, and you're going to find out the curses only fit one nation of people, which is the Israelites. Right? So it said, cursed in the city, cursed in the field. It says it's going to be upon your seed forever. Bring 68 out. Watch this. Right? So how do, how do our people get over here to this land? What source of transportation? Sources, right? It's written all in the history books. Right? They put on all the movies. Django, 12 Years a Slave. Right? Roots. You name it, it's on there. Emancipation. Right? Birth of a nation. Right? The list goes on. Watch this. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So do you know anything about the Bible? Right, so God brought the Israelites through Moses out of Egypt to the Red Sea, right? He parted the Red Sea, let my people go, right? But there was never a count where the Israelites went back into Egypt. So if they walked out, why would they need a ship to go back into Egypt? So this is a future policy that happened to God's chosen people. Watch this. this is yeah, y'all can walk through. This is the book of Judah, chapter 5, verse 11. Therefore the king of Egypt rose up against them and dwelt subtly with them and brought them low with labor and break and made them slaves. And made them slaves. So Egypt just means slavery or bondage. We're going to replace the word Egypt for slavery or bondage and watch how this prophecy sounds. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt bondage of slavery. Again, with ships, with ships, with ships, just like you said, right? Go ahead. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. There's no more account where the Israelites went back to their homeland as well as the physical Egypt. Right, go ahead. And then you shall be sold. Who's we sold to, King? Who's we sold to? The Europeans, right? Let's see who God called. Unto your enemy. And now you see the reason why they put the knee to the throat, they kill you for a bag of Skittles, they kick in your door and say, oops, we had the wrong house, but you're still there. And then they get what? Found not what? Not guilty, right? Go ahead. For bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. And that word in the, the Paleo Hebrew is redeemed. Because Martin Luther King tried to redeem us, Malcolm X tried to redeem us. Right? Black Lives Matter tried to right. redeem us. Marcus Garvey tried to redeem us. But only God's son, Jesus Christ, who the world called Jesus Christ, his name is Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, is going to free the Israelites. That's right. So if God said that the Israelites were going to be taken on slave ships to another land, but the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans got took to another Get land, up. what would that make us? What would our nationality be? That's exactly who we are. Come, brother. Right? Right? All praises, brother. Hey, and keep the commandments, brother. We'll be an Israelite. Never forget that. And with that being said, we want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh by Hashem, my child, my child, my child. Come here, Shem! Come here, Shem! Come here, Shem! Come here, Shem! And we came to establish the law. Come! Alright, do you want to see what's on? Come, man. And all praise to the most high. Y'all gonna check out y'all got God's mighty nose up on the scene. Yeah, check on the um Y'all can hear the elders. Give me a con. Check on the live to see if it uh they can hear it. Con. So we're gonna continue to bring out the word, huh? Con, so we're gonna continue to bring out the word. All praise to the most high, Yahweh Shot. Right, so uh Riley, North Carolina. All praise to Yahweh by Shiva Mashiach Yahushai. We're here to give y'all the word. Who are we? We are the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, the servants of the Most High. 
right, to teach you the gospel, to preach the gospel of repentance to the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel in the last days. Kind to of. redeem you, to bring you back to the Heavenly Father. That's what this is about. Because this world is finished, man. But this kingdom, this society is finished. You black men, black women, Hispanic, Native American, some of the Indian men and women, there is a future for you. There is a future for you. But in this in this society, you have no future. But you got a future in your how and your how shine in the kingdom of heaven to come. Amen. Right, let's get right into it. Give me Matthew 11 and 12. Now what happened? They shot and killed another young black man down in Florida. That's right. Well, a, a U.S. airman at that. And they said this brother loved his country. But obviously his country didn't love him. Because his country is racist as hell. Right. As soon as they see a black man do a damn twitch, they putting damn six holes in you. That, well, here we go again. You starting off your spring, your summer, with the police killings again. They just reckless when it comes to our people. You niggas can you can have some damn earphones in your ear, and they're going to say it looked like a gun. And they're going to shoot your damn ear off. Because it looked like a gun. Oh, I thought the nigga was going to shoot me from his ear. That's how frantic these so-called white people are. You have a damn a, a black earpiece in your ear. Oh, that looked like a nine millimeter. The nigga was going to shoot me from his right ear. That's how paranoid you devils are, man. Right, so again, I think the brother's name was Forston or something like that. John Forston. They said this brother loved his country. But his country didn't love him. Right, right. Right, give me Matthews 11 and 12, King. Wait, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 11, verse 12. And from the days of John, the back the days of John the Baptist, come on. Until now, until now, God, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence. Who's the kingdom of heaven? The kingdom of heaven are the people, the nation of Israel. We are the kingdom of heaven. It said from John the Baptist up until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence. Every time you turn around, the police is turning you into Swiss cheese, man. Every time you turn around, it's not going to stop. You know why? Because we in our enemy's land. That's right. You have no future here. Right. right? The man said he loved this country. Yeah, I'm going to stick on that. Because you niggas love your country. And look how your country treats you, man. Right. Look how your country treats you. They came to the man's door. They claimed the brother had his weapon in his hand, but he had his weapon pointed down. Aren't you professional? Aren't you supposed to say, okay, sir, put the gun down? When he, if he lifted, it, then you got the right to shoot. Right. If he's lifting it, but he's got his gun down. Because you're knocking on his damn door like a damn caveman. So the man's like, yo, who the hell is this on my door? Right. He got a right to defend his home, but he got the gun pointed down. As soon as you see the gun, oh, the nigga, niggas, the nigga ain't get the chance. And you shoot the brother up, man. And the reason why we're bringing this out all the time, is to let you black, Latino, Native American, and Seminole Indian know this society don't change, man. Right. The brother, now that's a perfect example. He loved his country, served his country. He's a U.S. Airman. The man brought his little uh, niece a uniform so they could take a picture together in military uniform because he loved his country so much. But his country sent them to the spirit world. His country didn't love him. His country loved him back by putting holes in him. You racist damn police bastards, the Lord got something for y'all. Then you wonder why the black man killed for y'all ass in Charlotte. You wonder why the Lord put the spirit on that brother to mow your ass down without a assault rifle out in Charlotte. Now you wonder why? Because that's the judgment of the Lord. Read, King. In the violent take it by four. In the what? In the violent take it by four. And the so-called white man, he's the violent. He takes the kingdom by, he take you by force. He took us by force off the west coast of Africa. He took you by force off the reservations. He took all the mineral resources from, mineral resources from you by force. The violent take it by force. Read, King. For all the prophets in the law prophesied until John. And if ye will receive it, this is Elias, which was for to come. Right. So it was going into the regeneration. Right? Eli Eli um, Elijah being John the Baptist. But that's a deep another topic. But the scriptures is letting you know the violence taken by force, man. Talk about 11 and 4. Read. The book of Zechariah, chapter 11 and verse 4. Thus saith the Lord my God, feed the flock of the slaughter. Feed the flock of the slaughter. The flock of the slaughter is the nation of Israel. What are we to feed you with the words of the Most High? Come on. Whose possessors slay our possessors slay us. Right? They slay us. 
I mean, you damn, you, 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 you damn cops are just damn nervous, man. You just shook because I possess a slave. That's good. Right. Who's possess a slave them and hold themselves not guilt. And they do what? And hold themselves not guilt. All the officers on administrative leave. No, his ass need to be indicted for murder. But you're not going to do that, man. You're not going to do that. There's no justice in this society. That's what the Most High Yahweh, they go for the Most High Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, and the angels going to bring justice. Because there's no justice in this society. That man should be indicted for murder. Matter right. of fact, when you go back to Genesis, he should be put to death. That's right. Who shall be shed of man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed. That's right. That man's supposed to be put to death, but no. You, you're going to hold him not guilty. Read. And they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord. The Lord said, they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, God. For I am rich. For what? For I am rich. And their own shepherds pity them not. And they don't pity you, man. Your shepherds, your leaders don't pity you. They don't give a damn. Right. They're silenced, man. Right. And the white man say, Nigga boy, stay in your place. Or you want to keep your position, stay in your place. Be quiet. And it goes on and on. It's damn May of 2024. Right. They still shoot you niggas wholesale. Right. And you don't get it. Right. This ain't 1980 when Eleanor Bump was up in New York. This ain't Michael Griffin, Yusuf Hawkins. Right. This ain't uh, Eric Gardner. This ain't uh, uh, the other brother. Not a few years ago. Right. This is 2024. Oh, they God. still doing it to this day. Right. May of 2024. You can't even protect your home. Right. You can't even protect your home. Yo, somebody was knocking crazy on my door. I came to my door with my gun. I don't know what's going on. I'm, I'm protecting my home and my family and my person. Right? Oh, no. The white man say no. Now, had that, had that been a white man, uh, sir, put the gun down, please, sir. Uh, uh, sir, uh, you know, uh, we don't, we don't want an issue here, sir. And, and can you just please put the gun down? It's a double standard because America's racist as hell, and that's where the Lord going to burn this place up with nuclear fire. Right. He going to burn this place up with nuclear fire. Right, give me Matthew 25, 41. Read your precept first. Read. You get it. Matthew 25, 41. Read. This is the book of Amos, chapter 1, verse 11. Yeah. Thus saith the Lord, for three transgressions of Edom, for three transgressions of Edom, God, and for four, and for four God, I will not turn away the punishment thereof. The Lord said he's not going to turn away the punishment thereof. For three transgressions of Edom and for four. Read it for all the wickedness you have done. It's just a figure of speech for all the wickedness that Edom has done. Now, right, come on. Because he did pursue his brother with the sword. Pursue, pursued us. You read about that in Psalms 137. You read about that in uh, the book of Obadiah. Now, who said, raise it, raise it in Psalms 137. So the Lord said, he's going to get you. Okay? And did cast off all pity. And what? And did cast, cast off, off all, all pity. pity. Yeah, you don't care. You don't care that a man is in his home trying to protect his home with the gun down. And you have some pity and say, okay, I understand. But sir, can you put the gun? You got your gun pointed. You sir, can you put your gun down? Can you uh, slowly and surely easily put your gun down on the floor? Don't raise it. Then I got a reason to shoot you. But don't raise the gun. Put it down. Drop the gun. Right? Had that been a white man, that's how I would have went. They had been pleading with him. But sir, you know, it, it, come on, can you lower your weapon, sir? And can you put your weapon down, sir? Wait, let, let's make this peaceful. But the black, oh no, it's open season. That's what the FBI brought up. They brought up five to ten years ago that more white supremacists are joining the police forces in America. Because that's a legal way for them to kill your ass. They say, okay, if I'm a Klansman, and I just hang this nigga, oh, they just gonna lock me up. Let me join the police force, and any little move a nigga make, I can kill him and get away with it. Right. Any little man, like I said, a nigga can have an earpiece in his ear. I thought it was a gun. Right. I had to kill a nigga. Right. right, so yeah, they said white supremacists joining police forces went up by so much percentage. So what do you have, man? What they call the race soldiers. You got a bunch of, you don't have a police, law-abiding police trying to protect and serve and fight crime. You got a bunch of race soldiers with a legal right to kill niggas now. That's what you got, man. Read. And his anger did tear perpetually, his anger tear perpetually, mean continually, God, and kept his wrath forever. And what? And kept his wrath forever. He kept his wrath forever, man. Because what? Edom, good precept, King. The Edom hates you forever and ever. It's not going to stop. Excellent precept that what, what we're going, it's May 2024. He keeps the anger perpetually. 
he hates you. And when they say, oh, you know, uh, um, like the reporter said, oh, uh, you know, a uh, lot, lot of investigating got to be done here. No, you don't got them investigating. It's cut and dry. It's just open season on our people. When it comes to law enforcement, you have a legal right to kill our people. Right, read what you got, King. The book of Matthew, chapter 25 and verse 41. Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire. Uh, it's, uh, Matthew 25, 41. Yeah, read that again, King. Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed into everlasting fire. Uh, give me where it says, uh, when the Son of Man cometh, he gonna separate from the right and the left. Yeah, because, see, a lot of you, you black, Latino, Native American, and Seminole Indian, you think is a new and improved America. Right, so I, I see even a lot of you down here, you're working with your white woman. Right, you know what I'm saying? The white, the, the, the brother walked by with the white woman. She smiled up to my face. Oh, please don't say nothing to us. You know, I, I'm just in love with my Negro, and uh, please don't say anything. She's trying to soften the blow because she know brother's going to rebuke their eyes. Right, I'm working with my Negro here. Please don't say anything. But you think, you think it's all good. You think it's all good. You think it's all good because what? You think you want to know what they call it post-racial America. Right, you, you think you want a, a, a post-racial America. Well, uh, well, the South is not how it used to be. Right? The South, the South is the, we, we live in a new South now. It's a different South. Well, wait a minute. If it's a different South, how more South can you get than Florida? Right? If it's a different South, how come the racist white police are still killing a black man? If it's a different South. How much more South do you get than Florida? That's the southern tip of the damn East Coast. That's the most southern tip. So how much more South can you get? Why is the so-called black man still being killed by your, ra uh, your racist cops if the South is not racist anymore? Give me a break, man. That's not all, that's not all politically so-called, want to be politically correct mojo that you spin on our people. But what, the Lord, the, the servants of the Lord, we see through that. Read what you got, King. Book of Matthew, chapter 25 and verse 31. Yeah. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory. When the Son of Man, Hamashiach Yahweh shall, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. When he come in his glory, come on. And all the holy angels with him. All the holy angels are gonna come with him, God. Then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. He's gonna sit up upon the throne of his glory. Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, he's returning to deliver the Israelites. And that, that's why we say you have no future here. Your future is in the kingdom that the Lord promised us to come. You have no future here. Your future is to die, man. The Lord said if he didn't shorten the time, no flesh would be saved. Because what is so bad, you see what's going on in this society. Wherever, wherever you, everywhere you go, the black man, so-called black man, is not a man anymore. Any other brother is a damn effeminate or a damn tranny or he got a, 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 a damn or weak womanly spirit on him. But he just straight up flaming. They don't even give a damn no more. So it's like, damn, this is, is that's what the Lord said, the Israelite man is going to be more precious than fine gold. Because there ain't going to be no men. Everywhere you turn, like, damn, the, 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 the pedigree of men is just finished. Like, damn, every other brother's just, damn, brother. Every other brother's butt poking. Like, but God damn, the only men left are going to be the men of the Lord. Right, read it, kid. And before him shall be gathered all nations. Before him will be gathered all nations. Come on. And he shall separate them. He shall what? He shall separate them. He's going to separate them. Come on. One from another. One from another. Go ahead. As a shepherd divided his sheep from the goat. He's going to separate them one from another as a shepherd divided his sheep from the goats. So go ahead and have your little white woman. Go ahead. We know you you, you brothers, man. You you, you got that Mandingo heat. Got to have your white. Just got your lust for your white woman. And you white women, you say, oh. Before so long, I got to experience a black man, right? That's been my list and desire my whole life. So before it's all, before my world ends, I have to have a black man. That's all it is, man. And in the younger generation of you so-called white people, your children are rebellious. They're like, but I don't, I don't want to be racist, dad. 
I, I, I like Shaquille. Even though he's from the east side, I like him. He's a nice Negro. Right, he's, he's not bad, I like him. Right, <laughs> he's having a damn nightmare that his daughter's gonna bring home some nigga named Shaquille. <laughs> Her name is damn Lori, and she's gonna bring home some nigga from the east side named Shaquille. <laughs> Right, because, uh, uh, believe it or not, a lot of these white people, they like the Thug Brothers. They like the Street Brothers, man. Right? <laughs> right? Yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? Some women in general like the Street Guys because they figure they, they're rougher and they can protect them, right? And they just, they feel they feel more secure. But a lot of these white women, they like the Street Brothers, man. They come up in there with his pants hanging down. How you doing, Mr. Reynolds? <laughs> My name is Shaquille, I'm from the east side, and I like your daughter. <laughs> but I thought I'm about to go up in a women's smoke and with her. <laughs> and I was pissing the damn white man off. But the Lord is doing that. The Lord is doing that to make you angry. That's, it's going to generate the race war. That is going, it's going to heighten the race war. Because you, your, your true spirit going to come out, and that post-racial America fantasy is going to be gone. So the Lord said he's going to separate you in that day one from another. Come on. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand. The Lord said he shall set the sheep on his right hand. Yeah. But the goats on the left. The goats on the left. The sheep represents the remnant of Israel. The goats represent the so-called white man. Right. And it can go into the other nation. Right. He's going to separate us. There's no love for you here in this society. Right. That brother, um, uh, that rapper. Um, Jim Jones found that out. Yeah, yeah. You see, he was fighting at the airport, and them crackers jumped him. See that? And I believe them crackers was was sodomites. I think there was a couple, and they jumped the brother. See that? Give me, give me. I'm um, drop anything. Give me Ezekiel 25 and 12. Would you oh, done? Yeah, we get back to that. Yeah. You see that? What happened to that brother, uh, Jim Jones? Right, like Jim Jones. He, Jim Jones saw. He saw the brother just chilling. You know, I guess he flying. He coming through the airport. Mind his business. He ain't got no security, no entourage with him. He just chilling. I guarantee them, them devils said something slick to him or something happened. And you see that. They got on cold. I believe I believe it. I believe it was a that was a side of my couple. And they got on cold with each other. The devil was punching weak as hell, man. But you see, he like, I'm gonna defend my white uh brother against this nigga. I don't give a damn if I punch like a damn mosquito. The name is all. <laughs> I'm like, man, I know Jim Jones ate them, man. I know he ain't, I know he ain't feeling blows at all. But the point being, the point being, that's how it's gonna be when these race wars jump off. You see these crackers got right on cold with each other. Right on cold with each other. Like, you know, Jim Jones slammed his ass down. <laughs> the poor bus could hit up. That was the wildest fight, man. I mean, where's this fight going, man? But you know, you want to escalate it, so you know, you can't really, <laughs> Jim Jones slammed his ass and fell down with him, but the, the Edomite, and see, the east side of the sucker move, he came and started punching him from the back. Like a sucker, man, you know what I'm saying? Can't even confront the man face to face. But I, you know what I picked up from that? I said, these devils, they on cold with each other. When it come, they right together, when, even if they damn sodomites, they right together when it come to a black man. Right on point. Yeah, man, you see that? And then as soon as they came, who did the, the Edomite lady officer, they grabbed up Jim Jones right away. He like, yo, they jumping me. He said, both of them assaulted me. They not jumping on me. You see that? Because these devils are on call with each other. Ezekiel 25 and 12. Right? This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 25, verse 12. Yeah, you give me, uh, give me the classic, Matthew 24 and 7. Read. God. Ezekiel 25 and 12, hey. God, this book of Ezekiel, chapter 25, verse 12. Okay. Here. Thus said the Lord God, because that Edom have dealt against the house of Judah. Thus said Edom have dealt against the house of Judah. Come on. God. By taking vengeance. And a lot of these devils, they're mad because their kingdom is falling. That's right. So who they going to take their anger out on the most vulnerable people? That's right. You black, Latino, Native American, and Seminole Indian, they're taking their anger out on you. Because you're the most vulnerable. Right, come on. And have greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. The Lord said, have greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. God, therefore, thus saith the Lord God, 
I will also stretch out not my hand upon Edom. The Lord said he's going to also stretch out his hand upon Edom. That's why hence the Lord, the Lord be even it out. That's what our brother in Charlotte, he shot and killed him for before uh, the three, well, three um, U.S. Marshals and a Charlotte cop, right? Because the Lord be evening it out, like that. And will cut off man and beast from it. The Lord said he will cut off man and beast from it. Hell, who's to say that? Shoot and fought about it, been revenge. Because all these devils, they all on code with each other. Uh, yeah, well, it don't matter where in the country, a couple of Negroes are going to have to die because you killed our four police and shot it. That we have to kill a couple of random Negroes all over the country. Now, right, come on. And I will make it desolate from to men, and they of dead and shall fall by the sword. And I will lay my vengeance upon upon Edom. I said he's going to lay his vengeance upon Edom. That's right. By the hand of my people, by the hand of his people, mm. come on, Israel. By who? Israel. Israel. Said he going to lay his vengeance upon Edom. So that's why you'll see four cops getting killed in Charlotte. Right. Right by a brother with an assault rifle. That's the Lord using him as a death angel. Put that spirit on him. Jake like the hell with it. I, I ain't going back to jail, man. Right. I ain't going back to jail, man. The hell with it. Right. Like, like, he didn't mean no battle. I'm going down. I'm taking everybody with me. <laughs> right? So yeah. these devils, they taking me. I'm taking them out with me. But I'm going out with my boots laced. So the Lord be ratcheting it up with that revenge. So let's not forget that part. You devils, the Lord, he be getting y'all back. Slowly but surely. And ultimately, he's going to get y'all back with the defeat of your entire society. When the Messiah and the angels come and wipe this place out. Who you got, kid? It's the book of Matthew, chapter 24 and verse 7. For nation shall rise against nation. Nation shall rise against nation. Now, why am I bringing this out? Because the white boys with Jim Jones, they got on code as a nation. That's right. He said, hey, that's a white guy he just slammed down <laughs> on that escalator. <laughs> right? And he still jumped up and just... Them damn chicken wing punches, man. Right? But they got on call with each other. That's right. You see that? They got on call with each other. I was looking to see if there was any, if any, if it was any other brothers around. Right. Like, yo, y'all, y'all gonna jump in and help the brother? At least get the devils up off of them. Right? But you know, I didn't really see no other Jakes around. Right? Like the brother, he was truly rolling solo. But I, and I go to show you, they don't give a damn who you are, whether they recognize or not. You're just another nigga. We don't give a damn if you some dipset rapper. You're just a nigga, and we're going to get on call and fight together against you. Now, like, come on. And kingdom against kingdom. And kingdom against kingdom, nation against nation. This thing going to be done as a nation. And and that's the first thing came to my mind when I seen that video. I said, these devils got on, they get on point with each other when they come to a black man. Right. Hispanic or Native American. They right, they get, Esau don't give a damn if he throwing the weakest punch in the world. Right. And we're gonna, we're gonna get this nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 don't give a damn if he throwing the weakest damn punch <laughs> on the damn planet. Right. But, I, but see, when you're a spiritual man, you see these things. I, right, soon as I see the video, I said, look at these devils getting on point together against uh, the brother Jim Jones. See that? And they don't give a damn who you are. There's no respect to the person. That's right. They don't care. This society don't give a damn. Daddy Glover couldn't get a cab in Midtown Manhattan. He said, I can go to any studio right now and demand $50 million for any movie, but I can't get a cab in New York City. Wow. A cab will not stop for me in New York City. I can go to any movie studio. This was right when he, after he did all the Lethal Weapon movies. He said, I can go to any studio. And ask for $50 million for a movie role. But I can't get a cab in New York City. Damn. Because they hate you, man. They don't give a damn who you are. That's right. Look how many, uh, uh, this brother that got killed in Florida. When you go back, watch, uh, uh read books like 100 Years of Lynching. You know how many, uh, uh, servicemen got lynched in their damn uniforms? Right. After they fought for the damn country. And they came back to America and got lynched in their damn uniform, man. Lynched in their uniform. But when, when, uh, in World War II, they said the damn, the, the uh, German prisoners was eaten and in the mess hall with the white soldiers and they had the black soldiers separate. And they took the German captives and treated them better than the American Negro soldiers. But you want to serve your country. Right. Hey, if, if you join a military career move, whatever the case may be, 
job, whatever, but there ain't no guarantee that America gonna love you. You go back to the history of lynching and hanging. You go back to lynchings and hangings, and what happens? What happens? What do they show you? A lot of so-called black men that served in this country got hung and killed in a uniform. Wait. And there shall be... I know, I know, I know. Get on the sister, Aldo. Get on the for being what he saw. <laughs> you know, this I got something for. Go God. Ahead. And there shall be famines and pestilences. And there there shall be, be famine, famine and pestilence. There shall be famines and pestilences. Go ahead. And earthquakes. And what? And earthquakes. And earthquakes. Come on. In diverse places. places. What the Lord said is going to happen, man. But the Lord said nation would rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. So that's what I saw in that Jim Jones fight. And look at that, man. The, the Lord, is he's given us powerful signs in these last days. He's given us powerful signs. Like I tell you in 2nd Ezra, they're not going to regard your king. They don't, it don't matter who you are in that day. That's right. When it's, when it's all out war, it's not going to matter. They don't care about your status. Teach up. You think you are. All right. A celebrity. Your name up in lights. That don't mean a damn thing. That's right. So you black, Hispanic, and Native American, Seminole Indian men, you better get ready, man. You better get ready because it's going to get crazy out here. Keep yourself spiritually and mentally trained up, of course, but physically and have the right spirit, man. Don't be a damn coon and think this society loves you. Right. Because that's half the battle. When you got the wrong spirit, that's when your enemy defeats you, man. You ain't got the right spirit. You ain't got the right spirit in you, man. But let me... Let me do my time, because that, that's damn near what we're doing. We're doing time in America. Let me do my time here and understand that this is my enemy's land. This is my enemy rulership. See that brother, that that might be on the, on the other side. That might be why the Lord judged them like that. Right. You, you are in the military and think, I serve in my country. I love my country. <laughs> look what your country did to you. Right. You know what that is? That's for sure. Right. Others don't be loving America. That's an example. He all over the place with his military uniform, proud. Lord said, look, this same society gonna kill your ass. That same military that you love, cause the police ain't nothing but the street military. Look at them now, look at that, look at that, look at these roadblocks and stuff, man. That's all, it's like a military zone. That's right. right, that's all they are. They just, they just the damn military. Right, they're the street military. And you wanna save them and look what happened. Read your precept, okay? Huh, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 80. Uh, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 73, verse 26. My flesh and my heart faileth, but God is the strength of my heart. Who's the strength of my heart? And, but God, God is, is the, the strength, strength of, of my, my heart. heart and my portion forever. For lo, they that are far from thee shall perish. Thou hast destroyed all them that go a horn from thee. See that? The Lord said he destroyed all them that go a horn from him. From him. And you love America, you're going to horror it from God, man. You're going to horror it from the power of Israel. You love America, and um, my country is so great for me. No, you're going to horror it from the wrong side. So the Lord destroyed you, man. That's it on that. Now give me, um, give me, uh, 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 just drop that. Give me, um, 913 now. Please ask me. Please, please ask a cuss. So like you. 913, what you holding? Yeah, me on it. All these are the beginnings of sorrows. All these are the beginning of sorrows, man. There's going to come a time where, listen, you're just going to be walking down the street. Black men going to be walking down the street, and they just going to kill them. That's right. Yeah, man. Watch that movie. Uh, I just checked out that movie. I got to do a review on it. Civil War. When I get a chance, check that movie Civil War out. Ah. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to hit you with something, man. The movie, not to give it away if you didn't see it. Right. Spoiler alert. Right. But. The movie is based upon what's literally happened right now. You see what's happening now with the protests? Uh huh. They got that all in the movie. Man. Oh. I'm like, did they set this damn thing up? To, <laughs> like, um, and literally, right. When you watch the news and watch the movie, it's damn near the same thing. Right. Everybody protesting everywhere, and in the movie, they got no respect for the president. Wow. And look what's happening now. A lot of people don't respect Biden. Nope. Nobody respect Biden. Oh, Sleepy Joe. The man is old and need to go sit his ass down somewhere. Right. And Trump is on trial for having sex with a porn star. Right. They're paying her to be quiet. These are the men that's going to run your, your society. Right. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's literally out imitating life. I'm like, I'm watching a movie like, yo, this is the news. 
This is the news right now. Yeah, man, this thing getting serious. The Mossad's making, he's making the, uh, the movies that they're making about the end time, he's, he's putting it in real time. It's like as the movie is, is, it ain't even like, you know, you watch a movie about the end of the world years ago, you be like, okay, that, that might happen years from now. Now it's happening in real time. As the movie comes out, it's prophetic. It's what's going on in the news at the time. Yeah, man, check that movie out if I get a chance. Read. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 9, verse 13. Keep thee far from the man that have... Hold on, hold on. Let, let y'all stop finishing Matthew 24 until I get But hold that though. Read, kid. The book of Matthew, chapter 24 and verse 9. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted. We're going to deliver you up to be afflicted. We're going to be persecuted for this gospel sake. That's right. And shall kill you. And you shall be hated of all nations. They're going to kill you. Some some you might have to give your life as a martyr for that's, you. That's right. Now, come on. And you shall be hated of all nations. You shall be hated of all nations. When the smoke clear, they're going to blame everything on the 12 tribes of Israel. Everything, and they gonna point the finger at us and just hit you guys, teach you that hey, that's why this is happening. We're gonna be like, no, we're gonna read what the Bible said. Right. But they're gonna make it seem like because of now you see they passed that law when they try to make the New Testament illegal. They try to make the New Testament anti-Semitic. Let's see what you devil's doing, man. The uh, uh uh baby bush tried to do the same thing. They try to pass laws back then, but it didn't go through. They try to pass laws where um, they have something called a Victory Act. They had the Patriot Act, right? But that wasn't enough. Then they, they came out with something called the Victory Act. And in the Victory Act, they had language in there basically saying, if you believe in any other kingdom or any other government or society coming in power, you can be labeled a terrorist. So if we're on the street saying, if we read the Lord's Prayer on the street, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Up your terrorists. Because why? They were saying, basically, you are against, you are against the American government because the American government is trying to strengthen itself and, and they want the backing of the people. So if you believe in another government or society coming in, you're a terrorist. This is the stuff they have written, man. But, but they, they uh, wasn't able to pass that bill back then. Right, because what? That would have did away, that would have did away with the Christians. Right. Because don't the Christians say the Lord's kingdom is coming? Hallelujah. So you, you would have to, you would have to say the Christians are terrorists. So they said, damn, we can't, how are we going to get these damn Israelites? Right. 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 Oh, the so-called white Jews, they don't deal with the New Testament. But them Hebrews do they deal with the New Testament. That's right. So we're going to make it illegal and anti-Semitism. Get out of here, man. First of all, listen. There's no such thing as anti-Semitism. Right? It's a made-up word. That was Semitism. Right. Right? It, it stems from the word Shem. The name Shem. Right. Right? Not Sim. It's Shem. And you guys talking about anti-Semitism. That was a, that was a, uh, that was made up to build sympathy for the Israelis and to, for them to get certain, certain allocated certain things to them. Now like that's all anti, do the research on the history of so-called anti-Semitism. Right. That all stuff is all made up, man. So the Jewish people can get sympathy. Mm -hmm. Because we, we need rights and things. We need to be taken care of because of, because of the Holocaust. You know, you know Hitler, it, it was so bad what he did to us. Bunch of damn liars and frauds, man. Anti-Semitism, it's made up. But now, that's a way for what? For you to target the brothers out here teaching the gospel, man. Because really, man, not for bragging rights, but we're hey, really the last of the Mohegans, man. That's right. Nobody else really saying the damn thing out here. That's man. right. The brothers are lighting up this world all over the damn planet. Even in uh, other countries now. Right. Right. Uh, hitting the highways and byways and hedges and bringing this word out. So now, what are we going to do about these guys? We got to make the new thing. We're going to take a whole damn chapter, a whole section of the Bible, and now it's anti-Semitism. Wow. It don't make no damn sense, man. Now, read what you got, King. And they shall be hated of all nations. Should be hated of all nations, God. For my name's sake. For your how and your how shall name's sake. Come on. And then shall many be offended. Many going to be offended, man. 
I can't stand them guys, man. Why they dress like that? Why they talk like that? They get on my nerve, all that hatred. Right. You know what I'm saying? They're always so negative. They're always out there yelling at people. Right. But I bet, I bet most of them come from jail. I can't stand them guys, man. <laughs> But I hate them guys, man. Right? But we don't give a damn. We hate this game. Right? That's right. Ain't one another. Shall betray one another, right? Or what they say, all all skin folk ain't kin folk. Right. Now you niggas, you gonna try to sell us out? Man. That's right. I know who's the Israelites right where I live. <laughs> I know he's, he's right here, master. Come on and get some. <laughs> Teaching that hatred against our good America. I know we ain't hatin' that stuff. Right, yeah. <laughs> 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 a lot of you, a lot of our own people gonna betray us, man. That's right. right come on. And shall hate one another. So what? And, and shall, shall hate, hate one, one another. And shall hate one another. We know we gonna be hated for this word's sake. That's right. We know we gonna be hated for this word's sake, man. You like the scriptures tell you, man, we're like a light that shine in a dark place. Like like somebody sleep in the middle of the night. Three o'clock in the morning, and you turn the bright ass light on on them. Yeah, like, oh god damn, you cut that light off, man. Right. That's how we are to the people, man. Yeah, that's where you are, how we are to the people. This light irritates them because it's too bright. It's too much. It's too much righteousness and knowledge and truth. So it, it it's like they they sleeping in the middle of the night, three o'clock in the morning. You turn the biggest, the highest light on in the house, right? And they, oh man, they cut that off, man. To come over their head. That's how they are when they come to this gospel, man. Right? It's too bright for you. It's too righteous, too much righteousness and truth. You want to stay in your wickedness, man. You want to be like up uh, up in the Bronx, New York. This brother took his belt, made a noose out of it, hooked it around the elder sister's neck, dragged it down to the ground, dragged it in between two cars, and raped her. This is what society is coming to. Yeah. An elderly sister at that, and the crazy thing is right around the corner from where I live in the Bronx. Because there's, uh, right around the corner from us, they built these new buildings, and the street is back. There's like an alleyway over there. It's kind of dead, and a lot of people don't walk through there. I don't know what the hell the elder sister was doing walking over there. Maybe she's going to a car or something. This brother tied a belt into a noose. What are you, the damn white man now? Why? He's trying to lynch and rape her sister? You niggas done turned to the enemy now? Right. You a chocolate covered white man? You know what I'm saying? Or I think you might have been Northern Kingdom, either one. But the man, he tied the belt into a noose, right, flicked it, got it around the sister's neck, grabbed it tight, yanked it down to the ground, dragged it by her neck with the belt in between two cars, and then raped her. This is the sickness. The sickness going on. And we're looking at the news like, oh, great, yo, that's, a, that's, a, that's right up the block. Right. Right, and, and stuff like that really don't normally happen in the neighborhood, but that's just going to show you people losing their goddamn mind. That's right. It, it is the Bronx, but it's, it's a pretty decent neighborhood where we live. That's right. But it just show you people just losing their goddamn mind. Right. It's sick. Teach up. Right? You, you got this thing where, where, where all these people walking around naked now. Everybody want to be naked now. They show you the decline of society, man. Now, how do you do that to an elderly woman of your own nation? You dare put a use a leather belt like a damn noose, man, and drag the sister. It's a wonder he didn't thank the Lord. He didn't jump the sister to death dragging her. She didn't die from that. Drag her in between the two cars and rape the sister. That's a savage, man. That's a damn savage. But you know what? That's a sign of the times. That shows you the de decline of human of the mental capacity of humanity man right it is this place is just getting sick man and a lot of short of these are the things that's going to go on that's why you got to be strong to be able to endure what we're about to witness on this earth you're going to have to have a strong spirit right because the stuff we're going to see is going to be beyond reality that's right come on who's me good and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. Many false prophets shall arise and deceive many. Like that shrimp pork eating Negro. Now I'm talking about we, we turn it into Yahushua Day. <laughs> we turn it into Easter Yahushua Day. And the man said, I, I, I believe we got nine days left. That, that, just, but that just me. I, I, I think that nine days is over with. Negro, it's been about 
damn 30 days since you said that. So, but that's, that's a false prophecy. Right. Really? Even though the man tried to cover himself and say, that's just me. But you basically trying to say, the spirit showed you the world going to end in nine days. The home shot is coming back in nine days. Many false prophets shall come into the world. That's right. You can, you can, try, to, you can try to clean it up and say, well, that's just me. But you were wrong. Who the hell told you the world was going to end in nine days? I hope you would have been right. But guess what? You've just fulfilled Matthew 24 right there. That's right. The prophets shall come. You made a false prophecy. Right, well, we got nine days. We're going to eat this shrimp. We're going to turn Eastern to the home shot day and eat this right. shrimp. And we got nine days left. Get out of here, man. Now, come on. And because iniquity shall abide. Because sin is so prevalent that the love of money shall wax cold. Listen, man, that, that, that guy needs some hood justice up in the Bronx, man. That's right. He, he needs the hood to catch up with him. That's right. Don't, you don't need no court, you don't need no judge in the place. Just let the hood catch up with him. <laughs> because iniquity shall abound, the love of many is going to wax cold. Nigga, nobody care. Nobody got no kind of sympathy, nothing for you. You doing low-down, grimy, disgusting stuff like that. That's right. So you know what? The hood need to catch up to him. That's right. Go ahead, brothers. Y'all good. Y'all good. Well, go ahead. But he that shall endure unto the end. And he that shall endure unto the end. Come on. The same shall well, be saved. That's what we trying to do, man. That's right. That's what we trying to. We trying to endure to the end. Well, we not up here trying to act holier than thou. We have faults too, but we try to repent every day in your house shop. That's right. That's another thing I try to say about it. Though they think they know everything, they think they so righteous and better than people know. We try to encourage you to be righteous. We try to encourage you. We're being born in your house shop and the laws, and we try to encourage you. Because you see what's happening in the world, these are signs. Right, Esau? These are signs that your world is ending. That's why you're turning more and more red. Because you're wrong. And you see what's happening to your boy? Well, God. And the gospel of the kingdom. And this gospel of the kingdom, God, shall be preached in all the world. That is our job to preach this gospel in all the world. Right, uh, uh, by way of social media. By actually, shut up, shut up, shut up, by actually teaching it, God, for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the, shall the end come. God said, this God, we got a, a mission to complete. This gospel got to be preached in all the world for a witness, and then shall the end come. But in the process of that, of us telling you what's going on, the Lord is showing you in your face. That's why he let the prophecies happen. He said, I don't have my men out there in vain. The stuff they saying, look on the news. It's happening. The stuff they read out in the Bible is manifesting every day. But you don't want to see it, man. Now, you don't want to see it, so you're going to stay blind. You stay blind, and guess what? We're going to stay with our eyes open. And we're going to keep doing this truth, serving the most high, how much time patiently wait for this kid. And they ain't wrong now. Right? I, I, uh, like uh, B.D. Siegel said, I can feel it in the air. <laughs> yeah, man. I can feel it in the air. <laughs> Come on, man. If you're spiritual, you know this world's about to go out, man. That's right. Even, even people that were doing a survey, and even people that are not religious, they're like, yeah, something's going on, man. Something's going on with the world, man. There's some crazy times we're living in. I think this might be the end. And I'm not even religious, man. Yeah, that's what's going on, man. So, me, what you got? This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 9, verse 13. Look it up! Keep thee far. So keep thee far back to the brother that got uh, was murdered in Florida. Right, God? Keep thee far. I said, keep thee far. Come on. From the man that had power to kill. I said, keep thee far from the man that had power to kill. Give me um Exodus 23 and 13. I might like, keep thee far from the man that had power to kill. These, like we said, you have... FBI reports that white supremacists have joined many different law enforcement agencies in America. And the reason why they did that, so they can have a legal right to kill you. They can have a legal right to kill you, man. That's why. What do you mean what? That's that's the truth. Rights woman, right guy. Let me look at uh, Amber <laughs> Geiger. She walked into the black man's apartment, his apartment, and, and shot him. It's like, but I thought he was an intruder. <laughs> he was too damn drunk, Esau Et. 
and you ran into the man, you ran into the man here, they're chilling in his crib. You shoot and kill him. Talking about, I, I thought it was an intruder. No, sober your behind up and find your apartment. But you ain't even safe in your own home. Come on, brother. Right. Huh? Yeah. Right? You know what color he was? You know what color he was? Huh? Say it again? Right, he was dark brown, not white. All right? And he was an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. All right? And repent and keep the commandments. No, what? No, no, why? All right, the Christian man don't want to believe in the color of the Messiah? What is the world coming to? Right? What is the world coming to? Uh, no, 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 you good. What? Hold on, hold on, wait a, wait a minute. First of all, now let's, 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 hold on, hold on, brother, hold on, wait. Now we're going to speak, right? Let's speak logic. Have you ever seen any green people on the earth? And Star Trek don't count. Right hold on, wait a minute, hold on, wait. Wait a minute, wait a minute, brother, hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now. The Bible is about truth, right? 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 Christ said you Christ said you should know the truth and the truth shall make you free, right? So now, let's speak logically. There's no green people on the planet Earth. There's either different shades of red, like the so-called Caucasians, or different shades of brown, like all other nations. So, what color would the Messiah be according to the accurate description in the Bible? Give me first John 5 and 10. He said dark brown. Now you making a statement that if he was green, it wouldn't matter. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, brother. Is null and void. You know why? Number one, because there are no green people on the earth. Right. Two. Right. It does matter. I'm going to show you why. First John 5 and 10. This is the book of First John, chapter 5, verse 10. Bring it up. He that believeth on the Son of God. You get it? Get the classic revelation. Right, God? Have the witness. In himself. He that believe on the Son of God, which is the Messiah, have the witness in himself. Good. He that believeth not God. He that believeth not God, come on, have made him a liar. Have made him a liar, come on. Because he believeth not the record that God gave of his son. Because you don't believe the record. What is the record of God's son? The Bible, of course, right? Right. So part of the record, I'm going to let you come in right after this point. Part of the record is his description. Let's get that. Revelation 1 and 1. Now, he said it already, but we're going to let the Bible back it up. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Jump down to 13. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. In the midst of the seven candlesticks, which is symbolic to the churches and the actual menorah, one like unto the Son of Man. John is telling you he's going he's gonna to describe the Son of Man. Right? Come on. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. That's had on a long garment down to his foot. Good. And girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool. White like wool. Now, hold up, wait, wait, wait. Like your brother described, brown. What people on the earth have only touching hair? Brown skin people. Right? Come on. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet, and his feet, good. His feet like unto fine brass. Now, we already know brass. Is a lot of derivative of a brown. Good. As if they burned in a furnace. And if you burn that brass in a furnace, it's going to turn very dark. So, when we say, oh, it don't matter if Jesus was green, that's disingenuous because the Bible said you got to believe the record of the Messiah. Hold on. And it gives the record of the Messiah. So that's why it says that because it's in connection with each other, right? It's in correlation with each other. You gotta believe the record because the record is given. So if we say that he's green, right? We're going against the record and we're not believing what the record says. Huh? Nah. Simmer my shack and shot. All right, go, brother. All right. Y'all been drinking? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
you will. Okay. Yeah, tell the truth. Tell the truth. I'm not saying y'all not okay, but I can tell. Right? Go ahead. No, no, no. We good. We good. We have a we have a bill. I can see this a bill, brother. We're not arguing at all. I know that, right? But uh, okay. But 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 hold on, but hold on, but hold on. You know what? I'm hold on. And I support it because it goes along with the nation, right? So bring that up. It was the first job before the nation. Hereby knowing the spirit of God, every spirit that is present that Jesus Christ. Sean, take this off. Take this off of me. Take this off from me so I can hold, hold the phone. For he shall save his people. It said his people possess him. Right. Not all people. He shall save his, his people. Good. From, from their, their sins. sins. From, from their, their sins. sins. His people are the Jews. Let's move that. Hold on. And I'm going to let y'all come in. St. John 851. Ah. St. John. Hold on. Teach out. No, no, no. Watch Wake him up. This. No, watch this. Watch this. No. Read it. St. John 851. He's watching that, you watch this. Please. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Please, St. John 851. Nah, we good, we good, brother. Speak. The book of St. John, chapter 8 and verse 51. Bring it out. Verily, verily, I say Sing unto you. you. Surely, surely, verily, verily, good. If a man keep my saying. If a man keep my sayings, good. He shall never, never see, see death. death. He shall what? He, he shall, shall never, never see death. death. No, no, give me on 30. The Jews that believe. St. John 8, I believe it's 31. Read. The book of John, chapter 8 and verse 31. Bring it out. Then, then said Jesus to those Jews. To which, the, now, he said, which Jews? Which? Hold on. He said, you said, which Jews, right? Go ahead. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him. Who are the Jews that he died for? Those that believed on him. Those are the ones, yeah, give me, give me a little bit of help on Right? The Jews that believed on him. Go ahead. If, first, first. But then the entire nation is going to come back in the kingdom of heaven. Good. If ye continue in my word. He said, if you continue in my word, good. Then are ye my disciples indeed. So he said to those Jews, the true Israelites that believed on him. All right. All right. Step back, bro. Step aside, bro. Yeah. No, no, you good. You good. No, no. No, no. Don't, but don't get too close. Don't get too yeah. I'm not, we're not saying that, that. No. but you're saying don't get too close. No, no but I'm, I said too close. There's a difference. Close, but we're not saying you want to fight. Just men, men like space from other men. Right. Uh, <laughs> uh, right. Uh, right. You only want your woman up on you. Right. 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 Hey, so look, I'm going to go around the whole circle. Watch this. What keep you saying you want to have? No, 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 hold on, 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 hold on,
This is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 14 and verse 31. Bring it out. But ye made all prophecy. I said 32, God. No, start at uh, 30. Verse 30. If anything be revealed. No, start at 29. 29. Let the prophet yeah, speak two or three. God. And let others judge. If anything be revealed to any that sit it by. Let the first hold his peace. Let one hold his peace. Go ahead. For ye may all prophecy prophesy one by one. What? Prophesy one, one by one. one. Prophesy one by one. Go ahead. Now all may learn and all may be comforted. Right. We prophesy one by one for order's sake so that all can be edified. Mm -hmm. Everybody trying to speak at the same time or you trying to I'm gonna go down the line and speak to everybody. Right. No. Nah. That's right. Scriptures speak about order. Hold up. Nehemiah 8 and 8. Read. 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 And you're trying to talk to everybody at one time. So just speak to me. And if my brother's got a point, they'll say, okay, I got a scripture. I got a point, elder. Right. Me, right. Or, you know, do it in order. Or if I say, hey, brother, answer this or whatever, do it in order. Okay. God. Yeah. No, no, no. We good. We good. We good. We Okay, so y'all got in there. Y'all father's African American? Yes. So that would make y'all from the tribe of That's right. So, hold up. So, y'all can repent and be saved. You got to come and get the right right understanding, right? Because. No, no, no. No, 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 there you go, King. Teach y'all. Teach y'all. But the Israelites by birth, let's see. If your father was from the African American, he would be from the tribe of Judah of the nation. That's right. So y'all Israelites. That's right. Why you don't want to be a Jew, bro? <laughs> what do you mean, no, sir? Come on. Right, come on. Stop, 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 stop it. Why you don't want to be a Jew, no, sir? Listen, you would be from the tribe of Judah. So we, we can all repent in Christ. That's right. But it's not for the other nation. That's right. Not on that sign. That's right. 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 Break it down. Break it down. What you got? He's a leader, right? He's a leader. It's my only question. What keeps you going to heaven and not to hell? Give me that one. Time. Bring that up. Teach up. Yeah. Right. Let me hear. Uh, good master. Yeah, 1916. 1916. Let me hear. Bring it out. And behold, one came said unto him, 
good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? He said, good master, what good thing should I do to get the kingdom? Eternal life is the kingdom. Same thing. Same Matthew, right? Same Matthew, thing. Right? Same thing. Right? Hold, on. Hold on. Read. Read. And he said unto him, why call thou me good? Come on. There is none good but one. Good. That is Yahweh, God. 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 But if thou wilt enter into life. If you will enter into life, meaning to see the kingdom of heaven, God. Keep, keep the, the commandments. commandments. The keep, the commandments. Keep, keep the commandments. Keep the commandments. That's how we get eternal life in the kingdom. Keep the yeah, commandments. Exactly. In, in Hamashiach, Yahweh, who the world begins to close Come on. He said unto him, which Jesus said, God. Thou shalt do no murder. Uh, drop that. Give me Revelation 2. Khan. Khan. Teacher. If you would get the kingdom, the commandments. Read what you got, Jake is impatient, bro. Read it. Bring it out. Always. Always. Bring it out. Man, right to the, to the life. Gone to the gates of the city. <laughs> Come on, man. Right. 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 Bring it out. That keep, keep his commandments. commandments. Keep the commandments of God. And the faith of Yahweh. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Ah. Man, the Bible said it. Wait, wait, wait. The scripture said it. Wait, wait, wait. Are you a Jew or a Gentile? I'm a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Judah. There you go. 613 to the 10. The 613 to the best of my ability. There you go. There you go. Wait, wait, wait. You talk, wait, wait. Wait, wait. You talk, wait, wait. Name the law that I know. Right. You know what? No. You want to back off? No. Yes. Yes. No folly, no folly. No folly. No no, 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 but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. So now, now hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hey, brother, I'm messing brother. with you, but listen. The scriptures say all have sinned and come short of the glory of the Most High. The scriptures say if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. Right. We right. But, hold on. The difference is, the difference is, we repent every day. Right. Right. Hold on. Teach, teach, teach. We repent every day. Read it again. For the law was given by Moses. The law was given by Moses. Come on. But grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. So hold on, wait. Yeah, if I lust, hold up. If I lust in my mind, I ask the most high Lord, you know, get me over this lust. That's what the grace comes to. Right. Because I repent from that lust. Right. Hold on. I repent from that lust daily. You understand? So yes, when you when you get these laws in your house side, you are keeping all six hundred and thirteen for the best of your Because even hold up, even when that sin come in your mind, you are supposed to repent for it and say, Lord, forgive me. And there you go. Right, right. So yeah, I would just mess with you. Out of every six hundred and thirteen dollars, Jesus, God, 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 Yes, I have. And you just, you just, you just helped answer that. You no, said, I repented for every single one. Right. Yeah. Yes. The only law, hold on, wait, 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 wait. wait. So one, of the, one of the main laws that we're not doing now, Romans 12 and 1. Con. Fisher law, law yeah. Con. But we are the living sacrifice. There you go. Yep. So the, wait a minute. We are the embodiment of the sacrifice. So technically, hold on, brother, technically, we can say that 
we keep the, the six hundred and thirty six We can say that. But I've been to that thing. But the Romans chapter twelve and verse one. We know. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, then, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice. Our bodies are the living sacrifice now. Come on. Holy, acceptable holy unto God. Acceptable unto the Lord. Go ahead. Which is your reasonable service. Go ahead. And be not conformed to this world. So yes, we can say that we we can say that we keep these laws because we're not. <laughs> Bro, want to talk so bad and they're not listening at all. Not because we want to talk. Yeah, we ready to hear. Some of them we're not right. going to set up in our land. Look at the See, answer of who. So that's where the mercy and the grace comes in. But all the laws we can keep now in this society, I'm not going out to murder my brother today. I'm not going out to, to covet my brother's home. But I'm not going, I'm not going to disrespect my mother. I'm going to, to the best of my ability tonight to the Shabbat food. Okay. Oh, hold on. Wait. Those are all the laws that are the laws are on certain laws set up in the kingdom in certain situations, so they don't really even apply them Yep. But, but guess what? We're keeping those laws, guess what? Because we're not breaking them. Right. So Right. Yep. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Christ. 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 <laughs> he said it don't matter the color of skin. They were that guy. Yeah. Well, Key, I feel like he's second. I don't know who's third, fourth, or not. He's fourth. Y'all fall behind. Hold up. It's not about being first. Let me talk. Let me talk. It's not about being first. No, you talk. I'm going to show you. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. They about to go one. Be ye followers of me as I also am of you. Now Christ said, listen, listen, listen. Be ye followers of me as I also am of you. Yes, I am the leader. But I am the leader. But my brothers only follow me as I am the leader. Right. So the true leader is the most high Christ. But to everything on earth has structure. That's right. You have structure on the earth. If you don't have no structure, you're going to have some chaos. Hold on. Be ye followers of me. Be a be even as I answered that. I answered that. I answered that. My God, even as I also am of Christ. I just answered that. We just went through that whole thing. We just went through that whole thing. Now I praise you, brethren. Okay, you answered that. No. Now I praise you. Yes, I do. You don't. But we do. Now I praise you. Brethren, yeah, you remember me. That's the same question over and over again. Let's go forward. And keep the order. Yes, we do. We answered that already. Right. But you don't. Right. Right. We need followers of me. Like you repeat the question. Guess what? It's going to change the order. Hold on, brother. Be free. Be ye followers of me. Even as I also. Now, let me now back to what you was asking my brother. Listen, listen. Right, 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 right. 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 Right, you brothers are not, you got, y'all got, y'all go to church? You got to, y'all go to church? You go to church? Hold on, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Y'all go to church? You got, y'all got a pastor? Y'all follow your pastor? Y'all follow your pastor? Huh? Y'all follow your pastor? 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 Wait a minute, but do you listen to that pastor? Right. So then, why are you in that church? So when you go to when you go to service, you're not getting locked. Yeah. When you go to you tell me, you guys will not go to church. Yeah. You go, you go, and you tell that pastor. And the pastor's not even teaching you right. The pastor's not even teaching you right. Hey, no, no lie. It's 
up past the back. No. Oh. oh man. Oh man. Give me something. Oh, no way. You're not supposed to be fellowship. Wait, you give me first. You give me brother. Let me get eleven and twelve. Yes, they got. You gotta come. Y'all follow a man. Get, get no, we don't, no, we don't follow God, brother. Y'all follow him. Follow Christ, brother. Follow Christ, brother. Christ, brother. Follow Christ. Yeah, God. Man. Chapter 2 and verse 1. Bring it out. Gather yourselves together. Gather. Oh, nation not desire. Oh, nation not desire. That's right. He, before the decree bring forth, before the day rise as the child, come on. before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you, before the Lord destroy the society. God. That's right. That's right. No all white men. Before the day of the Lord. What part of California? They preach the same thing. They preach. What part of California? What part of California? I'm right, I'm right in Inglewood. I'm right in Inglewood. Right. You'll see me in Inglewood and you'll go to church out there. I'm in <laughs> God. You'll go to church with us in Inglewood. God. You'll come to church with us in Inglewood. When I get back to LA, I'm going to find you and you come to church with us in Inglewood. That's right. Before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth, which have brought this judgment. Seek righteousness, seek meekness. In may be he shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 11, verse 1. Bring it out. And there was given me a reed like unto a rod. Go ahead. And the angel stood saying, Rise and measure the temple of God and the altar and them that worship therein. God. But the court, which is without the, the temple, court, which is without the temple, God, leave out, leave God. out, come on, and measure it not. God. For it is given unto the Gentiles. The Gentiles are not supposed to be in the court temple with the Israelites. Right, come on. In the holy We're city. We're not supposed to be worshiping amongst a bunch of white people. Come on. In the holy city shall they tread underfoot 40 and two months. The heathen would be in our land that's what they opened it now, having to walk the Palestinians and tread my land down for a certain dispensation of time because they're not our people. They T -top. So the court that is just out is measured to the Gentiles. We're not supposed to worship the other nation. So y'all gotta come out of that white okay, church. Look, look. You coming to the new moon in England. Right. God! Yeah, got him. No, There That's go. right. There you go. I can't save this brother. I can only give him the knowledge of salvation. Right. So I was shy to the stable. That's right. When it, when it comes to something amongst us, there's a pot of it on. Right. Well, I got another question. Go ahead. 
You just come with that's the most high, bro. This is literally the most high. I got a piece of it. Keep touching that shit. Chapter 5 oh, that's it. and verse 17. Good. Let the elders that rule well. See, we have elders. Listen, I'm into something. Everybody in life follows somebody. Right. right. Yep. Yeah, I'm into something. You got a job? Your boss is your leader. You got a job? You got a job? You got a job? Oh, All right then. Right. So when it comes to your job, it's yeah. a, it I can lay it up. When it comes to serving the Lord, I don't follow your man. We forgot, King. Every there's order. There's order. There's order to everything on the earth. Everything on the earth has to Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. So who do it? Who do it? Who do it? Oh. Let the elders that rule well. Elders that rule well, I'm an elder, I'm considered an elder because I've been in it for a long time and I'm also, also, I'm over 50 years old. Right, come on. Let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor. See, the brothers, they count the elders and give us our honor. We know the ultimate leader is Christ. I already know where he's going. But we have elders. I even have elders. Me, I'm an elder and I have elders. Right, that is crazy. <laughs> They who labor in the word and doctrine said, those elders that labor in the word. I'm laboring with my brothers right now. I'm going to battle. I'm going to front line with you right now. Right, right here, right now. I ain't somewhere saying, hey, how is it going out there? Hold it down. I'm right here. So, yes, we as a nation, we got to come back and get some sort of order back as a nation. So we don't want no order. Especially when it comes to us, there's no order. Right? But... Everything in life, I just use this job as an example, even though it's a different dynamic, but everything in life has a structure in the order. Even in America, you can you, you, you can tell, you go to the white and say, you ain't my leader. But technically he is, because this is a switch that he wants to go. Right. If he tell you to do something, your ass got to do it. That's right. Like, you read. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But God is so right now. We know so much one the earth for the most part. But technically who's the leader of the United States right now? Biden, which is, a, uh, uh, he's a devil too, right? He's not Jewish, but maybe he is Jewish. But that's the rule of earth. And also, hold on, the Illuminati family is the one that uh, that really that really run America. But that's all another conversation. Okay. Bring up the book of Job, chapter 9, and verse 24. God, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Yes, who runs the so-called United States, the so-called white man? That's it. Right, you run, you run the United States. I'm just saying. Ah! Ah! Now, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me slow up. Let me slow up. Let me slow up. I don't know. The jury's out. The jury's out, yeah. Yeah. Ah! You're recording. Hold on. Watch it. One, two, three. Do you follow sisters and the 13 laws that God the Father gave us? Yes. Do you follow sisters and the 13 laws? Wow. <laughs> no, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Do you follow sisters and the 13 laws? Exactly. You follow the obligation. You never lost. 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 You <laughs> you have a hey, Zach! You have a lust? Hey, Zach! You have a lust? Hey, Zach! No. Hey, Zach! Let's go! My one point. Hey, Zach! You know what? You know what? The information is on the card. Give us a holler. We're going to switch the show. Hey. Whatever's in there. Yeah. 
The jury's out. What's your name, brother? You be thinking that he actually do it. I'll see you in England. Alright, brother, we go. Alright, man. I got you, man. too. Have a good night, man. Get rid of that cross. Get rid of that cross. No, no, no. That's mine. That's mine. That's mine. Have a good night, man. Have a good night. Have a blessed night. For the perfecting of the saints. For the perfecting of the saints. Go ahead. For the work of the ministry. Come on. For the edifying of the body of Christ. That's all we got. For the edifying of the body of Christ. Unity of the faith. And of the unto a perfect man. Unto what? Unto a perfect, perfect man. man. Uh, uh, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. All he wants to get to us is like, like you're doing out here tonight. <laughs> Thank you. 
And what? And, and submit, submit yourself. For so they watch over your soul. They what? They watch over your soul. Yeah, man. Just like the elders that came before us. They taught us and gave us the knowledge of salvation. Watch our soul. And you damn right. I, I come from water and beast. Hell, you had order and structure in the streets. You had a game. You had a, a lead of the game. You had, and, and if you got, you got a quarter and if you got deep knees, if you didn't, if you didn't do nothing, you know, you got discipline. If you did something against the uh, the uh, the leaders of the force, my God, that's why uh, Chicago is so bad because they locked up all the gang members back in the eighties and nineties, and, and them little niggas just ran wild. My God, but they watch for your soul. They do what? They watch for your soul. And that's the main thing that makes us even be watchful for your soul, man. That's having more experience. And the most high God, God, as they that must give a cover, that they may do it with joy and not with grief. For that is unprofitable for you. I 
y'all follow on man. God just gonna teach me the Bible. I ain't gotta listen to nothing y'all say. There was water and food in the church. Teach elder. There was men, there was men in church. Bring it out. Until the time appointed. Like, come on, Jesus said 
unto them. Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones. Ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones. He also shall sit upon twelve thrones. He also shall sit upon twelve thrones. Judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Right, so you boy, you gonna tell you how to die. Yo, the twelve won't be He said, look, they gonna sit on the throne. Yeah, I know what 12 is, but it's 12 11. Got 15 minutes. I just want to keep an eye on it. 12 is 15 minutes. Everyone that has been taking houses, when you go to your house, you got to say, you Go that way, 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 go that way. Damn, what the hell? What the hell? That's why you say you're 
in their right
<laughs> oh man. <laughs> He that 
make mention of the Lord, you gotta make mention of the Lord, come on, keep not stone. Right, now you make mention of the Lord. Come on. And give him no rest. Give him no rest. Come on. Until he established, until he makes Jerusalem a praise in the earth. The Lord has sworn by his right hand. Go to UCLA or Columbia, Come here, child. Come here, child. Hallelujah. 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 Bashim. Amashia. Yahusha. Come here, child. Shalom. God. God. Come here, child. 